leads us to the end of three body problems with episode seven and eight. Three body problem episode seven only advance. Uh, the synopsis is a bold proposition for the staircase project puts the group at odds. Will weighs his option. Ye returns to a familiar place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I am. I am so glad you told me last week. Like, I feel as though you t- you prepared me for these two episodes. Huh. Um, just because you. you told me this is one of three books. <laughs> 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 and there will be a cliffhanger. And so so I was fully I was fully already prepared mentally. Okay, we're gonna get a cliffhanger. Nothing's gonna be. And I have to say, overall. I'm very satisfied mm. with this ending. Yeah, me too. Have I thought about it since watching it? No. <laughs> Not the <a> damn <laughs> moment. <laughs> Was I like, okay, this is cool. Yes. Particularly because we called a lot of this shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> the moment they were talking about the person to go on the on the ship. <laughs> and and it eventually leads to Oh, but we only need the head. We only need the brain. Mm-hmm. And then and then it's like immediately it's like, oh, they're gonna use Will because he's almost dead. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was so funny to me. I'm just like, damn it, me and Will put that out in the universe, and that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> we did. I was like, like oh, I thought about our, yeah, thought I thought about our conversation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, I mean, we didn't predict, like, it would only be his brain, no, but, but how could you? You said, I remember, I was like, I as I was watching the episode, I, I was like, man, I should go back and check the timestamp for when Sarah said, they're going to, Will's going to go out and just blast it out in space. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it just so often. Will, now, brain only, don't really know if that counts, but still, it's yeah. still Will. Jin thinks it counts because she uh, still yeah. thinks that he's alive in a way. Yeah, yeah. I think that, yeah, yeah, I mean, that's that's one of the things I have liked about this series. Um, just, it, it does, you know, it's those scientific, um, and those science fiction things that that, that come up in a, in a lot of good science fiction as far as, like, what's the soul, you know, is the brain, you know, is, is it just the brain? Is it, you know, this, is it still function? I know they were trying to do some like techno babble stuff about, you know, freezing the body, you know, with the, with, when they were dealing with the, um, the cryo with the ape, uh, with the chimp, mm-hmm. um, you know, the CGI chimp. Yep. Yeah. The CGI chimp. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Wonderful. which was actually, was it was, it was pretty yeah. decent CGI chip, but, uh, I, I did not like it. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of a planet of the creepy, but, uh, but yeah, just the, the the existential questions that this series has, like, and I guess, the, and, and by extension, I'm, I'm sure the, the the book brings up, and I think does carry forward in this series to, um, what's what are you know with when, what is our soul, and and you know when, when Will and Saul are there in the hospital, and you know I liked how they didn't use. Yeah, you saw, you know, we talked about how Saul is sort of is us, the avatar for the audience as well. And, you know, how he's been utilized up to this point in the series. And he was just running through all the the what ifs with Will. Like, you know, what if they find you and they you know, fall you out and they do X, you know, the X, Y, Z with you. But the thing I appreciated about that scene is he, he didn't, he put all those things out there, but he still left it up to Will to decide. Right, right, yeah. If he Saul has definitely been a character, a supporting character. Um, but what, but we get our payoff in episode eight with Saul in it yeah. to an extent. Yeah. And um, and I agree with you. Like this is what sci- this is an example of what science fiction does best is it really allows a deep rooted um a deep rooted allegory metaphor to come out and for you to really think about spiritual stuff mm-hmm. um, along with the, the science. Um, so, so it's, it's, it's really interesting. Um, 
I was going to ask about something else. So, so yeah, we, we predicted wi uh, Will going into space, which he does. Yep. yep. Um, that's what I was going to ask about. But Tatiana shows up in this episode. Yeah. Haven't seen her in a while. She shows yep. up in this episode a few times because by the end of it, she shows up in China. And who else is in China? Well, Wenji. Mm -hmm. and her her stalker <laughs> her tail <laughs> and and she, when she decides to go back and return to her her old work site yeah. and and that is where tatiana um appears on um, and and the end of this episode is essentially them looking at the sunset so so what did you think about a the the fact that they killed Wenji, mm -hmm. and B they killed her off screen. As far as her going to China, with both with Tatiana returning, she it is. I I looked at this whole segment of Wenji and Evans and sort of the I guess the the the, the foundation of, of of the Santi cult for. And and so they're the first generation of the of the acolytes for the Santi. And I think with with Winje going back, it, it it was one of those things. I, I felt like it was one of two things. Either she was did not get an answer from um it was a directive from the gods who have cut her off. <laughs> Or it was a situation where it was she she has lost she's lost faith in this. So 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 yeah. is that why they killed her? Um, I don't. So because I wasn't, I was surprised that they ended up killing her, and I was surprised, more surprised that they killed her off screen. Well, I think the off screen was to me uh, that didn't bother me so much because I think she had at least in Tatiana's eyes and and, and it was she had fulfilled her purpose. She, right. she she was she was the you know when Jay and Evans basically were like the emissaries that brought that opened yeah. the door and 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 you know and, and and you have all these acolytes now and you have all these followers with the first generation with Tatiana and then of course you know we see others as well. Um, that that didn't get captured when they had the raid way back at the beginning of the, of the series. Um, <laughs> in the middle so, of the season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was it way back? In the beginning? Yeah, I guess it was episode three. Yeah. But guess, were yeah. you so yeah. so you 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 were you or were you not surprised that they killed her? I I saw it coming. I I was like yeah. when she when she showed up when she went back to China. I was like, yeah, this is it. She's she's done either yeah. um and i kind of like that yeah. we don't know for sure if because we do know she reached out to the santi yeah in yeah. the very last episode but we don't know what the response was so we don't know if this was a command from them for her to return there or if she just went there knowing i didn't get a response i'm gonna return to where this all started and mm -hmm. they'll kill me there like, because she knows that if she buys, like, they know where she'll be. Like, yeah. she understands how they work. So, so she, I think she even took it. And, and also, it, it, it's also just her being like, I did what I did. Yeah. I can't make this right. There's nothing yeah. I can do. I so so yeah. If they need to kill me, then here I am. Let's yeah. let's let's well, take well, it see, back I, to where I I started. Yeah. See, I don't know if it was a thing where they wanted to. That's just it. I don't know if it was a thing where the Sati wanted to kill her. I think it was when Jay just make. I think when Jay took it as that. To your point, maybe her mission is over. My, I've that taken it as far as. I, I've taken this as far as, you know, I, she just, you know, she reached out to them and the gods cut her off. And so she just interprets that as, okay, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm done. Well, or, 
Then or they she just... Have just allowed her to kill herself. Like if she, if like I I understand what you're trying to say, but I don't buy it because Tatiana shows up, and we know Tatiana kills her. Right, but I think Tatiana was killed. I think Tatiana's purpose in killing and, and euthanizing her was, you know, maybe the Santi were like, you know, and Tatiana says this to her, like, you know, you're, we, we, I'm here to do what the gods want us, wants me, needs for me to do to you, which, but to, to do it in a, in a more humane way of, instead of like tossing yourself to the rocks as uh, maybe as a, as a, uh, as a, maybe I don't know, I want to say thank you or just a a way of the Santi saying, we, you know, we here here here's your, here's the answer. We're we're going to you know, th- th- they answered your your prayer and and I'm here to take you know to to euthanize you, <laughs> um, on on behalf of of, of the Lord. Yeah, I still think they wanted her dead. Well, I mean, I, I know like we, they wanted Evans to die. That, like, like I, I, I don't think you're going to be able to convince me that they didn't. Well, I don't know if I know the answer. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just. I'm just put. I'm just. I don't. I'm not saying I have the answer. And that's just, where I started with this. Like, I, I yeah. like the fact that we don't know for sure about yeah. the true, other than we know the Santi sent Tatiana there. Yeah, that yeah. is yeah, yeah. We'll just, we know that for sure. Um, so so the other thing that's going on during bes- between Will, besides Will and Wenjay, is Augie and Jin because we are still getting Augie PTSD from Panama, Panama, who's agreed to build the sail for the probe, but is trying to make Jin understand that. That they are, they are not necessarily on the right side of things. Um, the science is being used to create weapons just as much as it's being created to de- um, to create defense mechanisms. Mm-hmm. So, which which is a very clever thing to do with science and have that moral moral gray area occur of. Um, uh, of it and it ha- and I think to have Augie in the background throughout this episode express that while Jin inadvertently is leading um leading Wade to Will mm-hmm. like and now her moral compass is fractured because like she not only w- only convinces Will to do this he does it for her, mm-hmm. and it, she realizes too late how much he he does he he has loved her. So yeah, so yeah, yeah. I just wanted to bring that up. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's but that's it, 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 it. This episode finally gave us, you know, all, early on, I was like, "What's Will's purpose?" <laughs> and and obviously, beyond you know, beyond the obvious reason. That we got here, but also I think, as you noted, it, it definitely uh, raises those philosophical questions as far as what you know that that we see demonstrated between Augie and, and Jen's uh, uh, argument um, it, whenever they were trying to decide how whether or not to, whether or not to ask Will, and 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 so that that really got played out this up. And, 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 in that part of the episode yes <clears throat> yep yep that got played out and and now before we talk about episode eight wall facer um there was a conversation between wenji and saul in this episode where he t- she tells him a joke um and essentially the premise of the joke is um we warned you never play with god mm-hmm. and and he doesn't understand it, um, but we do understand it when he becomes a wall facer. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, wh- what did you think about this conversation, Will? Yeah, it, you know, it's one of those things when I, 
I'll have to say it's a two part answer. First part, whenever it first happened, I was trying to figure out wh what the joke was. <laughs> exactly, right? I was sitting there yeah. like, this is A, the longest joke I've ever heard, and B, yeah. it's very funny. <laughs> yeah, it's not very funny. It was a joke. Um, and then, you know, but, uh, but then, you know, as you said, we, we get a better context for why she told the joke the way she did in, in, in episode eight. So, so, I, you know, so I, 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 as I noted, I have to be honest, whenever I was watching episode seven, I was just like, okay, where's this going? But mm -hmm. then, but then what we, we get that answer. And, and that's why, to your point, why I was so satisfied with, uh, one of the reasons why I was satisfied with this first season. Yeah. Yeah. This, like the, the only way to watch this show is in, epi in, in even episodes, mm -hmm. like just, just do two at a time. Yeah. <laughs> Cause yeah. the, the one episode, the odd episodes at answer, like set up the questions and the even episode, just give you all the answers. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only <laughs> way to watch this. Yep. Um, because because we have that conversation and and I think that conversation occurs like midway through that episode seven because yep. a lot of other stuff happened to both Wenji and Saul and then we get episode eight which starts out um with this bizarre sequence where I'm just like why are we why are we wait a second Will yeah. just launched himself into space or will be launching himself in this space. It's very dramatic. We're we're starting episode eight, the final episode of this season, with Will having a conversation with a one night stand, or Saul having a conversation with a one night stand. Is that really what we're doing? But and then it gets more strange when she she randomly gets hit by a car and dies right in front of him. Mm -hmm. And then we realize, well, that was definitely after Saul um, yeah. because he uh, the government has a new plan, which is something else that is mentioned in the previous episode where Wade drops the turn wall facer. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I guess my question for you, Will, is yeah. when you heard the term wall facer in the seven episode, did did that lead you to think, oh, I, I think this is what's going to happen with that in the next episode? Um, not initially, let's be completely honest. Uh, oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. Um, you know, I, I learned after the fact, you know, I learned wall facers, I guess, is, uh, I guess, a Buddhist um, mm -hmm. monk uh, praying, you know, praying to a wall or something like that. Um. But yeah, but I didn't make the connection at, at, at first. I just thought, okay, another plan um, that they that they were having. But I didn't tie the two together as far as that, the joke, <laughs> and um, Wendy's joke, and 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 what 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 we learned, what the project is until this episode. And then I was like, ah, okay, now everything makes sense. Yeah, because essentially the Sophons cannot read our minds. So right. Wade's plan is to have three wall facers mm -hmm. who are allowed to to basically just enact plans without telling people. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I don't know how to explain it. Like that's very loosely, that's what they're allowed to yeah. do. And they have all the world's resources at their disposal, but, but they also, they can't, they really can't tell anyone anything because that defeats the purpose of being a wall facer. You're, you're, you're only acting. You're not, you're not telling um, yeah. your reasons because once you do that, the Sophons will know. So. Cool. Yeah. The other cool thing about the wall facer thing too yeah. is. You know, thinking now, tying it back to tying it back to Winche, yeah, and and thinking about Saul too, as far as wanting to not be a part of the program, it's very brilliant because people, again, to your point, they may think you're just doing this ruse to at least you know saying I don't want to be a part of it. That just could be like 
part of the <laughs> part of the deception that's like i don't you don't know uh it could be used you know it could be like your trick to like fool the sofa on <laughs> as far well, as yeah that's that's what essentially is yeah. is being thought of throughout this episode yeah where Saul and, persistently tells them, I am not a wall facer. I gave up that job. And everyone yeah. gives them the smile of like, oh, what? yeah, sure you did. Yeah, sure uh-huh. you did. Yeah. But we then it also, yeah. And, and, but to that, to that, thinking back to Wenjie, maybe, she, you know, I think she did figure, I think she, that was, she figured that out. And maybe that was part of her joke to Saul whenever she was talking about when they were sitting there in the park figure it uh, out she she that she need you know but to, to, to speak to him in code because she knows that the sofan observe everything well right so i think the you know but was her her code good intention or bad intention that's that's what we'll find out in the seasons too <laughs> maybe yeah. Maybe I we yeah. I have no idea if we're, we're gonna ever find out because I don't know I, I haven't read the book. A little so disappointed yeah. about some of Wen Jay's unsolved mysteries, and we're yeah. not even gonna go there. But I, yeah, I mean I, I I do know I haven't read the book. I do understand that some of the events that transpire in this last episode do start do take pl- place in the the second book. So that that uh, makes sense. There there were yeah. some aspects about this that felt like okay, we're starting a new chapter. Yeah. We're 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 starting something fresh, but um but yeah, so so I I understand w- like the joke could be in in code and everything. And then be, and I just keep thinking about the question that um, Clarence mainly, mainly raises is just, or, or this experience raises in Saul, like why him? And then people try to explain to him, well, it's like, you'll know it, it. like this idea that the Sante essentially chose him because there's a reason why he's important to the Sante. Like, mm-hmm. th- like, and we don't know what that is. And we don't know for sure if potentially or for sure if that started with the conversation in the park with Wenji where she made it clear that he was important. It could have started, like, honestly... The Oxford Five, their mm-hmm. quote unquote importance started before this show even started because, yeah. I mean, they, they've they always been important to Wenji. And let's not forget, she gave the game to Jin. So yep. knowing yep. what would it unfold. And she also helped get her daughter killed. So I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, uh, I was thinking that too. It's just like, you know, Saul. Yeah, Vera was one of Saul's, um, you know, was Saul was one of Vera's like top students. And I think back to their conversations whenever yeah. they were figuring out, hey, you know, things are weird. Physics is broken, <laughs> you know, and and and, and 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 so that, you know, and, and also the whole chaos, you know, with the three body, you know, celestial body you know, problem that, uh, you know, is part of that that theory. Uh, so, is you know, it all it all starts to. It all starts to come together here, at least um, all these diff- d- disparate parts. But, but I don't I have any answers. Yeah. Saul becoming Bubble Boy next season. Yeah. Just yeah. saying, with all of the threats that are out there. I mean, he he almost died like at least three times in this episode. Yeah, two, yeah. Three times in this episode. Um, just trying to think. Okay, so wall, pun intended. All of this wall facer stuff is happening. We also have Will being shot off into space. Yep. And um, so, so they did. They did a thing, very common, dramatic thing, where initially, because it's what three hundred bombs have to go mm-hmm. off in, yeah. per se to propel. So what they they get through four or five of them. If that, yeah. W- without incident, and then and then one of the one of the th- sails lines connecting the probe to the sail breaks and mm-hmm. suddenly the probe is off course yep. and will is lost in space 
yeah, Will is yeah. lost in space. Um, what, what, were, what, were, what were your thoughts during that whole sequence? I mean, I, it, it's one of those things where I was like, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's <laughs> I, too easy. It's, it's too easy. easy. I was like, something's going to happen here. I mean, it's just, it's inevitable. And sure enough, it did. So uh, that one was one of those things like, okay, it's kind of, t- it's the, it's the usual end of the, end of the season, you know, best laid plans. What could possibly go wrong? And of course it did. So, yeah. Um. Uh, you know, I think the bigger, I think the bigger, what's that? <laughs> they got 400 years. <laughs> they got 400 years. Yeah. That's, yeah. And I guess that's, and I guess, you know, thinking back to Augie and Jen and their conversation and even Raj and Jen late in this episode, uh, where they do have that break off conversation. This is like, you know, I, I guess it's like, what's the rush? You've got 400 years and even Saul, you know, as he was just sort of struggling, you know, whenever he was talking to his hookup, it's like, what's what's the rush? And and I, mean, I was thinking, you know, I was I was thinking I, I, like, I, I get yeah, yeah. I mean, th- there isn't a rush so much as they just allowed their last their one of their closest friends to kill himself to yeah. do this. So they wanted to make sure that was worth it. And yeah. and now his brain is lost in space. So Yeah. 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 A bit of guilt. A bit, a bit of, of guilt. guilt. <laughs> a bit of guilt. A little bit of guilt. Yeah. But you know, but it's also I guess Will would have wanted that. I mean, I guess he, you know, he found his purpose. Because I guess that was one of the things that I was never really it was hard for me to get really capture and get on board with that character. But then once he like you know, I think back, you know, just to go back to the seventh episode for just a moment, when he, whenever Wade wanted him to sign the loyalty oath and mm-hmm. and and then once he refused to do so and, and that convinced Wade, like, oh, yeah, we got a right man. Um, right. So it's just, you know, again, the really well crafted stories really explore like human drives and motivations and stuff. And that, that came into play here. And even thinking about Saul, I mean, he went from being you know, questioning, like, you know, why me, you know, Saul being a very like insular, you know, very selfish person, you know, early on and then being a good friend to Will. But like when he was, you know, Augie was reaching out to him, you know, he was just, he just let the phone go. We wouldn't answer, you know, he was too busy hooking up and getting high. But, uh, but then it's of course at the end of this episode, when he, whenever he was starting to like realize like, oh, it's a bigger thing here. I need to reach out to Augie. And then, you know, of course she, she, Turnabouts, uh, you know. I don't think it was because there's a bigger thing. It was because Jin was talking about like yeah. you might actually have someone who loves you as much as Will loved me. A E yeah. Augie, yeah. give her a yeah. call. But yeah. but yeah, yeah but that, that relationship won't won't be complete until like the third season. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I guess that's the bigger thing. I mean, just the the bigger you know relationship. Um, you know, there's more. There's more. They're bigger things than just um, hooking up and, you know, getting high. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's yeah. people out there I, that love you and care for you. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I thought it was, I, 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 I really like how, I really appreciate how th- consistently they've dropped things. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they've like they've dropped seeds, and then like you don't realize that they're watering them, and then things come to fruition. Like this whole concept of Wade trying to meet the Santi four hundred years from now yeah. um, by freezing himself, and and the Santi are aware of that, and they are encouraging him to to make that science work because they want to meet him too, so mm-hmm. they can kill him or so that he can become their pet. Um, so I just, I like that antagonist conversation between the Santi and, and Wade, um, mm-hmm. albeit it was a bit melodramatic, yeah. um, but I, I, I like the, appreciate the nod of like, we know what you're doing and we yeah. hope you succeed because we want to meet you too. So you can see us in the flesh. 
Yeah, yeah. I, but I like. Yeah, it was a bit melodramatic. It, you know, it was, but 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 also it was the first time I think we've seen this in this season where Wade actually was like, "Oh fuck." Oh, absolutely. Because he's he's the man in control. Yeah. Like he he's the man with a plan. He's the man pulling the strings, and and for the first time. He's not because yeah. there's this the Santi who have more strings than even he can imagine. Yeah. So uh, I, I will, they, all of these characters yeah. are are being utilized exactly the way they should be. Yeah. And yeah. and there are times when we sit here, we're like, we don't know what are they doing with this guy? Why 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 do we care about this? Well, just wait like an episode and a half later and then something will happen and they'll make that person significant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which you can appreciate because there's a lot like there's a big story happening here that all of like all of these characters are just a puzzle piece in. So yeah. you can't you can't put all of the pieces together at once. You have to let it let it flow. Albeit sometimes you just get annoyed because you're just like, I don't care right now. I want to focus on this. Yep. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in this episode, we got so much more Clarence. Oh, yeah. um, love love Clarence, who's becoming the somewhat unofficial papa of the of the Oxford Five, um, especially Saul, as he's been hired to be Saul's full-time security guard. And and my only thought to that is, um, did you not remember what happened to Jack? Saul did a horrible job with security. I don't understand why this man is still employed. I love him, but don't understand it. Um, and and he has the closing monologue of the of the season um as he he points out how um the bugs bugs don't go anywhere yeah. they are persistent motherfuckers <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep so simple but so profound and i i did make a note i want to say early on in this episode or episode before i'm like the cicadas, like <laughs> they're really going <laughs> full force on this religious metaphor they are. <laughs> as a news report. Yep. <laughs> but no, that was to set up the monologue at the end about the bugs. <laughs> and I'm like, I see you, I see you, and I I I get it. I got it. Oh man. Anything else we want to talk about? Um no, I'm glad I think... to watch this show. I yeah. think we had fun with this. It didn't I will just say um, I had higher expectations that I will admit didn't were not met. Um, but overall, when I look back at this season, it didn't feel like time wasted. Um, it felt like, it feels like a complete season, a, a, a complete story, arguably. Like, I don't have to watch the next 400 years play out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be fine, but but I'm curious about how 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 what does happen. So if we get a season two, then then good. Um, but yeah, overall, um, not bad, not bad. Yeah, I, I agree. I I, I I I enjoyed this season as well. Uh, I would say as far as as far as if I had to give a, a ranking or eight out of ten, I would say eight, eight out of ten. I mean, I thought it was really 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 good, really solid. Solid show. Yeah, yeah, very solid. I'd probably give it a six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah, the, the, the back two episodes really helped me rebound because I, I, I would, I, I would say the mid, I was a little like, hmm, but yeah, uh, yeah, I would stick to my eight out of ten. That is fair. And on that note, Will, why don't you tell our listeners where they can find you? Yes, you can find me on Twitter at Will M. Polk, W-I-L-L-M-P-O-L-K. And you can find me there, too, at S.J. Belmont, S-J-B-L-M-O-N-T. Please follow our crew on X, formerly known as Twitter, as seen a nerd. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and threads at seen underscore N underscore nerd. And visit our website, www.podcast.com com, but most importantly, rate, follow, and comment on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcasts. Good night, geek out. You're welcome. Hey.